Hey YouTube, it's V1 here, showing you how to put a PSX emula emulator on your iPod Touch slash iPhone. All right, first, what you want, what you want to do is go to your iPod Touch slash iPhone, iP iPod Touch for me, in this case, and go to Cydia and type in um, P. Go to the search bar in Cydia and type in PSX for iPhone. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it says PSX for iPhone. You click on it. Mine says modify because I've already installed it, but yours should stay stay install if you don't already have this app. Now we're gonna get out of Cydia. All right, and just put our iPods down for now. Once you have PSX iPhone, you can just go to your computer. And before we SSH in our iPod, we're gonna we're gonna go to Mozilla Firefox or whatever web browser you use. Now I'm gonna go to my bookmarks and pull up this site called Dragon Ball Arena. Don't ask me why why it's called that, but I'll give you I'll give you the link for it in the video description. Now in this um on this site you can get the BIOS for the PlayStation emulator. Here's the BIOS links right here. Now since I already have the BIOS link whatever else to download again just to show you. Okay, it should come up like that. You're gonna have to use WinRAR for this. Just downloading now. <coughs> All right, great. Downloaded. Close our Mozilla. Just minimize it. Take the SCP file, SO, and drag it to our desktop. It's right there. We can close this guy up. Now we're gonna SSH in our iPod, as I showed you before. And if you don't know how to, just watch one of my previous videos. There's a lot of videos on YouTube on how SSH into the iPod Touch slash iPhone. Click on Win SCP. Go to your profile. Go to detect your iPod. Password is Alpine, as I said in another video. In you know, a lowercase, A L P I N E. Alpine. Just hit enter. Right. You've SSH in your iPod Touch slash iPhone. Now, same deal as the NES. We're gonna head back. We're gonna go to mobile. All right. Now on mobile, you should go to media. Media. You should go to ROMs. And that's capital R, capital O, capital M, lowercase s ROMs. If you don't have that folder, actually, when you download the PSX emulator, you should download that folder along with the emulator, so you should be fine. So I have NES, GBA, and PSX. We're gonna be on PSX. And I already have the BIOS in there, but if if you don't, just just take the BIOS and drag it inside the directory PSX. All right. Okay. So and now once you've done that, you can just go to um, this site. It's called ROM Hustler. Go back to our Mozilla. I'm on Dragon Ball. I also put ROM Hustler in the links for you. ROM Hustler. Now go to the side tab. There should, if you scroll down, there should be um, Sony PlayStation. That's one we're interested in. Okay, Sony PlayStation ROMs. Now you can click anything like maybe Crash Bandicoot if you guys like that game, if you guys remember that, or Spyro or Final Fantasy or anything you guys want. Scroll all the way down. Oops. Just a minute here. Oops, I think I passed it here. These are the Crash Bandicoots, and you can download any game that you want, you know, this is just one of my favorite games on the PlayStation. I'm not going to download right now, because I already have, but it does take about 20-25 minutes to download, maybe 15, if your computer's fast. And once you download the ROM file, see, these are my PlayStation games in this folder right here. Uh, where's my folder? Hold up. Here we go. PlayStation games. Okay, now these are my PlayStation games in here. I have like Crash 3 and Crash Bash. So once you just take that game, drag it to the desktop first, then drag it, or just drag from that directory straight to the um, thing, or whatever you guys want to do, and just put it in the PSX directory. Now your game and your BIOS are in there. You're all good to go. Now just go to your back to your iPod. Alright, click on the PSX icon. Let that open up. Takes a little bit of time. Okay. 
here it is mine says crash bash I'm gonna go and open it up it's not the best quality guys this is more of those things like this is more of a trophy as you can say like something just you put on your wall so other people can just come and see it just you know go to your friend and say hey look I have a PS emulator running on my iPod touch slash iPhone then you can tell them to subscribe to my video and so they can learn how to do it see it says Sony Computer Entertainment America it's a little bit slow and the screen size isn't always full for some reason I've been trying to figure out why that is but I don't know why either now the game works as Universal Studios and stuff alright so this is very legit you can do this this is more of a thing for show but if you guys want to complete the game please be my guest and do it it's, it's fun you know it's just a little bit slow as I mentioned before I hope this video has helped this is V1 and um, please don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. I'm new. I'm new to YouTube, and I constructive criticism is appreciated. So thank you very much for watching this video, and have a great day. There'll be more to come.